What? Forgot your phone again? When I'm recording in this studio, a studio. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Kevin here with a pickups video. Um, I I'll try and keep this uh, relatively short. Um, I have a few pickups that I've gotten over the past few months. Um, I had a few other videos previously lined up to release before this one, but. I ended up scrapping those just because I got the new iPhone and I wanna play with the new camera and the new video. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. A lot of my pickups have actually been apparel uh, focused. I have been actually selling a lot of my footwear, I guess, collection and my footwear, I guess, uh, rotation for lack of a better word. Uh, I have been choosing to keep a few pairs and I've only picked up maybe I think I've picked up three pairs in total in the past few months that I'm going to be actually keeping. My last pickups video was definitely more footwear focused as per usual, but I do want to move more towards apparel just because I feel like that's where really I, I keep most of the clothing that I buy. So, and I end up using them uh, for their life cycle or even longer than that. So um, without further ado, let's talk about my pickups. First, the section, which I think is gonna be the smallest. Uh, let's start with the footwear. Uh, the footwear that I picked up, first footwear is from, uh, is from Nike. Uh, this is an Air Force One that was released during, I believe it was ComplexCon 2007 when Nike did that big um, like AF100 where they released a few old pairs like the Coco Snakes, um, and a few other ones, they re-released the acronym Air Force One, and then Virgil did his Air Force One, Doncey did an Air Force Two High, if I remember correctly, um, and Travis Scott did his, etc. And then Rockefeller actually did an official first release, you know, all the other pairs were um, sort of friends and family and more for commemorative and special events, they released their Rockefeller Air Force One, which I think these are crazy. I'm a big fan of older Air Force Ones and the Rockefellers are something that I never thought I would ever be able to hold. Like, like yeah, like let alone own um, a pair. And then the box of mine was actually signed by Biggs, which if you guys don't know Biggs, Biggs is um, huge, huge, huge. I believe he was one of the heads of Rockefeller with Dame, um, especially during the rise of Jay-Z during his old times. And I think Biggs was around when Kanye was sort of shopping around his college dropout, but Kanye was more, I guess, closely aligned with Dame uh, than Biggs. But yeah, here is the Air Force One. It's just a white on white with that Rockefeller embroidered in the back. Um, if you guys will pay attention that the Rockefellers, um, they released a few different times. They had a sample with a clear see-through bottom. Uh, they had one release that was um, commemorative of the Black Album by Jay-Z, except it was a Black Air Force One with white stitching. And then they had the original sample, which was just a white on white with a black Rockefeller logo on the back. Um, and this re-release is a navy. Rockefeller embroidered, embroidered on the back. You will also see that there is a Rockefeller tag on the tongue and the tongue is leather as well. Uh, I just love the OG shape of the Air Force One. Um, this is like a weird fusion, I guess, hybrid of it where they take parts of the older Air Force One, uh, just like the smaller, uh, I guess, ankle uh, tab, uh, the extra padding that they have the nice sort of sock liner that they have. That's like a nylon feeling sock liner as well as this upper area where it just has like a Nike swoosh. But other than that, it definitely just looks like an Air Force One 2007. I wish they kind of redid the toe shape a little bit to resemble the older Air Force Ones, but I understand that probably a lot of those older molds non-existent, um, but I'm glad that they were able to add that ankle area, that really nice. I haven't worn these yet, just because it, you know it's it's signed by Biggs, so I'm really um, kind of 
I don't like to have shoes as collector's item, but I definitely feel like this is definitely more of a collector's item. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever wear this pair. I, I would love to. I'd love to find a used pair that I could just wear, but uh, this specific pair, I don't know if I'll ever wear, and it's definitely like a grail of mine because these are like dead stock. Speaking of things I thought I would never own, here is another pair. Uh, I actually had a video, like I mentioned, planned. Uh, I still might release it where I did my Casina or Kashina um, collection video. Basically, I have both the Dunks and then I have both the Air Max Ones. Uh, here is the Korea exclusive Kashina Dunk. Um, it came in this beautiful Neptune green, uh, which I think the same year Nike released a Neptune green Air Jordan one that had like a weird text written on the side. Um, I thought that was a cool colorway. I definitely prefer this. This is just such a clean color, uh, as well as the inspiration where this is essentially inspired by the freeway or the road that connects Seoul and Busan, which are two of Korea, or I guess the two largest cities in Korea. Um, and then like Busan is definitely more of like, not really the financial mecca that Seoul is, uh, but like Busan is like the younger, greedier brother, I guess of Seoul, but both great cities. I hope to visit them one day, but this is the Korea exclusive. One side says Busan, this side says Seoul, and the clear bottoms are really, really nice. Um, I'm, I love clear bottoms, but I always worry about like yellowing, and I also worry about whenever I wear them, is it gonna be durable enough, but I haven't worn these yet. Uh, I've definitely worn the other pair a lot more, the bus pair. Um, oh yeah, and then it also came with, Came with three laces, came with white, came with this Neptune green, and this gray to match the swoosh. And then this also came with a highway little metal keychain. Uh, so I thought those were cool. I laced these guys up with just some Foxtrot uniform laces. And those are, those are it. Came in this normal Nike box. Uh, nothing more to say about it. Uh, I know that the Air Max ones definitely came in a much nicer, more well-constructed box. Um, and I got this for like a decent deal. And the last Nike, I guess, footwear pickup, I was able to hit on the raffle on the Nike general purpose sneaker um, in the sulfur colorway. Initially, I didn't really like this colorway. Um, I don't like the all brown colorway that I think is supposed to be dropping. Um, I do definitely, in person, I like this colorway a lot more. Um, I still think that the studio pair is like up top. I've worn that here. I have it right here. I've worn that, oh my God, so much. Um, this is still like my daily driver for most days. Uh, I wear this in the office, wear this pretty much everywhere in the city. And you can definitely tell, tell it has a lot of wear in it. Uh, the only reason I have shoe trees in it is to kind of show you the shape of the shoe and how different it like will look with time and just like, especially the interior, like the interior just looks crazy. Um, but I did swap this out for a nicer, I think thicker pair of laces. I wasn't a big fan of like the thin pair of uh, poly laces that came with the shoe itself. Not saying it was bad, but I definitely enjoy like a nice thicker cotton lace. Um, I don't know about the durability, but just for me, comfort of like nice laces and just thick woven, soft looking laces. I, I have a very big soft spot for them. I haven't really been able to find uh, good ones. The ones that I've been lacing a lot of my shoes with are from the Sneeze Reebok Club C Revenge. Uh, those ones I think really have like the best laces like in any pair of shoes that I've ever had. Uh, the laces, if I could get a hundred pair of those cream off-white laces like this, um, I would. It was, it's such a good shoe and it's such a good lace. And it's like, whoever did the materials on that, really, really like A1. Um, I do want to distress this pair a little bit. I do want to add some paint, paint splatters. Um, somebody that I was following, I believe his name is Justin Boone or Dune. Um, he has some paint splatters on his uh, studio colorway as well as this colorway. I thought it looked really sick, it's very subtle. Uh, so I might try, take some inspiration with that and maybe add some paint splatter as well. But um, the general purpose sneaker, 
I got this actually in a size 8. So in my initial review video, as well as my three month update, I have an eight and a half in the studio colorway, which fits fine, but I think personally an eight fits better. So I may want to recommend or update my recommendation to get uh, maybe half a size down. Um, I don't have extremely wide feet. I have wider feet, but if you have really wide feet, I think the uh, true to size still works perfectly fine. I think half size down might be better for like that snug fit just because there really isn't much padding in the shoe. So it really makes it feel a little bit more loose, especially after breaking it in. Like my studio pair does feel a little bit roomier. So I put an extra insole in it. Um, my uh, sulfur pair fits very, very nice. Um, just a hair little snug, but it's, it's definitely like, I think a little bit more, less sliding than my studio color. So yeah, I, and again, this kind of does remind me of the Mars Yard sort of color scheme. Um, the only thing that I think this is a little bit cooler is that I like the yellow that was used. I do wish that the tabs are red instead of this Nike orange, but I'll live with it. And my last pickup is actually not a new pair of shoes. It's actually a pair of shoes that I've had way, way long ago, and then I ended up uh, selling them, and then I actually re-picked them up because I found a really good deal on them. Uh, these are the Wave Runners. Um, I think I really liked the Wave Runners, and then I sold them, and then just all these years later, I think I realized like how cool of a shoe it really is, just coming back to it. Um, I think the paneling is really crazy. It must have been very, very, um, very much a headache to even put all of this together just in terms of like a design perspective and like the 3M underneath the initial mesh on the on this panel window and having all these sorts of materials such as like suede toe cap, mesh, felt, and then mesh again, 3M stripe, and then this nice leather and then suede on the back, 3M again, and this crazy aggressive sole. Um, 2007 was quite, um, quite, I guess, a shakeup. Uh, to say the least, for the market uh, when everything was very knit focused and very, uh, to a lack of a better word, like 350 as well as Jordan 1 focus, this guy really did change the game because it was really Kanye with the Wave Runners and then Virgil with the Off-White, the 10. Those two were just honestly neck and neck and I really, really have grown to appreciate the shoe, uh, especially because the prices are really down right now. I think I got this pair for 260 uh, which is under retail, um, given it was used, but a lot of 700s are built like tanks. I have not seen like a 700 mauve um, really beat, and I think those are the most densely constructed ones. Uh, the Wave Runners are okay, they're all right, and I think the V2s, they're n well constructed, but I do think that they made the sole softer, so there's a little bit more wear in that one. Um, but yeah, the Wave Runners, I really, really like these. Um, come back to them. Uh, good shoe, good shoe, good durable shoe, I'd say. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll start with outerwear. I purchased this military jacket from a, I guess, thrift resale store um, called Second Street. It came with an inner lining and it honestly just looks cool. It's a little bit beat up, I would say, and I did get it for, I think it was $30. Um, I don't know whether or not this is truly uh, even an actual military jacket. I think it isn't. I think it's just by a different company um, that just made it. And it's a very light jacket. It's quite beat up, but I personally think it's pretty cool. It's like a coat-ish. It's a little bit longer on me as like a pure jacket, but it's like a weird jacket coat hybrid, I would say. I'm not exactly sure what model this even is either, but. I thought it was a really nice green and I thought it was something that I can just like throw on and I use it for that case. Next one, um, Reese Cooper recently had a collaboration with Levi's where he did a denim jacket, two chore jackets, I believe, uh, two pairs of pants, a few tees and a pair of re kind of reconstructed jeans, I would say. I picked up three items from their collection. Uh, here is the canvas jacket, this work jacket. It has like a metal like hook thing that you can hook things onto, very industrial. I really like the fabric of this. It's a very heavyweight 
uh, canvas and it has that like organic almost feeling to it. Uh, it has a slightly cropped body and elongated sleeves, slightly elongated, not anything too crazy. And I really liked the green Levi's logo as well as all of the green tags that it had. Um, all the rivets said uh, Levi Strauss RCI, Reese Cooper Inc. And I thought it was such a cool, cool jacket. I like the details on the front. I believe it's modeled after type two jacket, but I will correct myself in post if I am wrong. And it is made in Turkey. I got a size large in this. Um, I just feel like this might have been a little bit too snug on my shoulders if I got a medium, because uh, I checked the measurements and I have a jacket that has the exact same shoulder length and that's a little bit tight on me. Um, so I ended up going for the large and I'm cool with it. I ended up picking up three items from the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collection. Um, I ended up picking up three hoodies because I thought that was the best bang for the buck. The one item that I'm looking for is the no seam tee uh, in a washed black, not the black, but the washed black, as well as I'm looking for the sateen cargos. Um, I know that they released the black one, but I haven't seen anybody with the dark green one. And I know those ones for some reason got back ordered and kept on getting delayed. Not too sure what's happening. I mean, with everything that's going on, Kanye officially, or Ye officially announced that he is going to be stopping the Gap partnership and Gap agreed. Uh, so they do have one more winter drop plan, but I don't know if they will ever re-release. I also might do uh, a secondary video um, just going over the details of the hoodie, just because there is actually a difference from hoodie to hoodie. Um, if you guys don't know, just a quick rundown. Uh, Ye wanted to have everything made in the US for the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collection, or I guess Yeezy Gap in general. Um, there's a lot of tension behind it. I won't go too much into it, but just know that Gap ended up producing a lot of the garments in imported or, or outside the countries when Ye's whole goal was to bring American manufacturing back. Uh, so I have the washed black hoodie, Gap hoodie. Uh, this one, nice dove print on the back. This one's made in the US. So this was a part of the first drop. Um, and then the subsequent restocks of it uh, were either returns or they were um, orders purchased from like, you know, like I think Vietnam was one of the other places that had the Yeezy Gap manufacturing. And then I think some of the tees and hoodies are made in Sri Lanka, but this is the made in the US. I got this in a medium. This fits quite oversized on me. Um, and I also got the dark green. The dark green I think is my favorite color of it, but the material of the dark green feels nice but I don't think it's justified for the price. I got this in an extra small, so this fits great. The medium and the extra small fit pretty close, just the medium a bit more baggy, I would say. Um, but I love the green. I just love the green, but I love the materials of the washed black. So if I can also find an extra small in the washed black, that'd be terrific. But, and then the third one is the padded hoodie. The padded hoodie I think is actually my favorite hoodie of the collection just because it's not too heavy not too light it has like a thin layer of like kind of like insulate in the middle which i think fits really nicely um, the fabric of it is a very nice uh it almost feels like a t-shirt material and then it has a thin layer of insulin and then it also has like a very stretchy material underneath this one is made in indonesia uh, the quality is pretty good but i will say that uh, i feel like Compared to the teaser images that Ye had posted and same with Demna, um, what we got really is different from whatever the samples looked like. So I definitely think that there's something going on there. Uh, and then I also picked up the black dove long sleeve, but I ended up returning it just because it fits way too long on me. Uh, so these are the three items that I ended up keeping from the collection. Uh, and then my only other, my only t-shirt pickup, I guess, is this Supreme tee. The Supreme tee, super, super cool. I really liked it, not just because it's a box logo, but I think it's because it's a very different box logo. I don't like Supreme stuff when they say just Supreme on it. It's by Ralph Steed, I believe, or Streed. 
apologies if I'm butchering it, but I really, really like the box logo and it's like very gritty, very dark. Um, I may try and pick up an olive one of this. I think the olive looks actually the best. I ended up getting this in a size large and I think maybe a large or a medium could have fit perfectly as well. Um, and then I ended up picking up quite a few pants um, and I think it's more of like an aesthetic decision that I kind of want to I've, I've gone through um, a lot of phases in my, I guess, personal style and I think I want to go back to where I guess I really started to get heavily influenced into, uh, which was like technical garments. Um, if you guys don't know, I used to really do a lot more technical garment where reviews such as like my mission workshop. Uh, bag which I'm actually planning on doing like a two three year update because I still use the bag So it actually might be one of the most long-lasting reviews that I've done um, but the mission workshop uh, Monty VX bag, you know, and then I've done video reviews I cringe when I watch them again because the way that I did videos back then I would definitely change but I was in community college I was a young kid and you know I didn't realize how many grails that I actually had, like the J28K, like, man, I would kill to have that in my wardrobe again. And that's one of the biggest pieces that I regret letting go. Um, and I did let go just because I, I was living in very, very hot Southern California and I just had no use for it just because I didn't really need a shell. Um, so that's something that I let go and I regret it now looking at it just because it's such a unique and cool uh, jacket um, but that is a whole preface to say that I ended up picking up quite a few acronym garments um, let's start with the P30A uh, DS so I ended up picking this up in I believe this is the alpha green colorway I really really liked it um, I picked it up just because I found a decent deal on it and this is the 1.1 generation uh, so the big difference about the 1.1 and the 1.0 is this extra uh, pocket um, that's mainly it really this extra pocket I don't even use this extra pocket all that much um, and I kind of wish that I I don't know like I kind of wish I found a use for it but it looks cool I think it adds a lot of like visual interest in it I really like how acronym does their pockets just because they do it in a very cool three-dimensional shape um, and I know that they just released, I don't know if it's still 1.1 or if it's like a 1.2, but they did a exclusive drop on Koivo, which is a Korean retailer. Um, they dropped a special version of their J1 as well as their P30, but that one's all black. And I think they changed the zipper as well as they added like an extra strap here in order for you to adjust the waist, ooh, adjust the waist uh, with one hand. Uh, so I thought that was really cool, but I really like this. I really like wearing it without the full extension on just because I think the cool cutoff where it's like your legs and then it's your shoes. I think that's a cool visual uh, look. Um, big fan of it. And then these two other pieces, I ended up getting them on sale. So I ended up getting this pair of acronym shorts. This looks very, very reminiscent, very similar to the P30. And I forgot what. Uh, model this was I think it was like the s 29 M uh, this is a new fabric the M fabric that they have I'll put the name somewhere on the screen but it's a very nice lightweight uh, nylon sort of feeling fabric I thought it was really nice um, I I really like the pocket layout uh, just just like pure aesthetically especially these like cargo pockets that are kind of hidden I really like these I ended up getting this on sale um, at ACD gallery uh, store in San Diego that I used to go to uh, now I'm not there but they had some cool products on sale but I really 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 like this pair of shorts my favorite pair of shorts mainly because the quick zip it doesn't have a button fly which I think might be weird to a lot of people but it allows for like such a quick like release of the pants that I think like 10 out of 10 like oh my god like especially after eating like K barbecue you can just like Tighten and then you're all good. Pull this flap, bam, I'm full, I'm open, I'm ready, you know. 
I'm ready for whatever. But yeah, I really like this. Um, I thought the gray color that they chose was really nice. It's not like a full on gray. It has like a, like a hint of green to it. I would say not as green as alpha green because alpha green to me looks almost like avocado-y while this one looks a little bit more like like a gray forest green, but really like both of them. I love the functionality of them. Um, I am planning on doing maybe a video of just each pant potentially. I know that Aga uh, has already done a P31, but or P30 video, uh, same with Antoine, but I don't think either of them has reviewed these shorts. The shorts are really cool. And then I also picked up the P10A, uh, e, which is the encapsulated nylon variant. I've had the P10DS, but I just recently picked up the E variation, um, which gives it a little bit more structure. I would still prefer the, de the dry skin, uh, just because I like how the material feels on me and it doesn't have that like nice whooshy feeling that a lot of nylon pants do. But I do like the structure that this kind of shows and I really like the uh, the advanced uh, cargo pockets that it has. The one thing that I do miss is that I do wish that they would just put a phone, that phone sliding thing in here instead of it being more to the sides. Um, that's my only slight complaint for this, but I really do like the P10. It's such a, it's such a cool cu cut just in general. It shows really the benefits of articulation because you can get such a cool slim form with it still being comfortable. Um, I love the P10, just in general, I think it's actually, it's probably P10 is my number one model that Acronym has in terms of footwear, or not footwear, in terms of pant cut, and then I have the P30, and then, I don't know, I don't know what my third would be really, maybe my P28, and then I have two pairs in each color of the Reese Cooper Levi pants. So I'll start with this one. I actually ended up getting this heavily discounted. I think it was like 60 or $70 because somebody returned them to the Levi stores in San Francisco. And then I visited and then they had this and I tried it on, fits great. The only thing is the length is a little long since it's a 34, but I will probably get it shortened soon. But again, same material as the jacket and has this cool belt loop, so I use this for my keys and stuff. So very, very cool. Definitely worth the $70 that I paid for it. Um, very, very durable. Oh, and it has the RCI right on the knee. Thought that was really cool in the contrast uh, green that they use. And then uh, Reese Cooper also had a sale, so that's where I got this guy. I uh, Sale on his website, so I paid a little bit more for the green one, but I really like the green color still have the tags. I got the, the, uh, the olive or not olive. I got the, I got the canvas color in uh, 32 and then I got this in a 34 just because the 32 was a little firm, was a little tight. Um, but the 34, it fits quite nice. I like my pants fitting a little bit more loose. And again, same slight issue with the pants being a little bit long, uh, but I will get them shortened, but I do feel like the, the canvas or the lighter colored pant fits a little bit more comfortably than the green, the fabric does at least. Um, but I do think that both of them look amazing in my opinion. I really like them. Um, and if you guys can get them on sale, I believe the retail was like 188 and I think I got this for like 100 or so. Um, for that, for the other one, again, like 70. I think, I forgot how much the MSRP was this, but I'll put a screenshot of how much I paid uh, from Reese's website. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That has been my pickups. Um, let me know what you guys think, which was your favorite piece. Um, and let me know in the comments if you guys want any individual videos of any of the items that I showed. I probably am gonna be doing a comparison of the Made in USA and the Made in Vietnam uh, Yeezy Gap hoodie just because I think there's a big enough of a difference where it makes me question like, wait a minute, like, is there like a superior version? Because I think they, for the first drop, all of the washed black stuff, I believe, was made in the US. So that includes 
the no seam dove, the long sleeve, the three fourths sleeve, the hoodie. I think those were all uh, made in the US while all the other ones were not. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.